So I just got out of the thrift store. I was recording and then the phone kind of like bugged out and stopped recording. And I don't know if you can see, but there's like a glare across here. Um, my phone's been acting up weird lately, so vlogs are harder, but uh, went to Best Buy, picked up a bunch of stuff. Big bag, not big, but got one, two, three, four, five, six titles in there. I also have mail coming today from Amazon, a few of the releases. Uh, the thrift store had a few things in my hand, ended up putting them down because I, I just, I don't need random stuff. And it was random stuff that I was just picking up because I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And it was like, eh. I, I, I picked up, it was The Grudge 2 and it was a DVD Best Buy exclusive steelbook. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Like. Since I never, like, I collected movies back in the DVD days a lot. But I never, I, I didn't go out on release day, get exclusives, nothing like that. And I thought it was really cool if I was going to pick it up. It was $3. Would have broke the bank. But I was like, you know what? It's literally just going to come sit on the shelf and never be touched. A lot of my stuff that I buy is that, but that's definitely not going to be touched. Um... And then there was a VHS set of three Michael Jordan, like, movies that were released back in, like, the 80s and the 90s. And it was cool, because I'm a big Michael Jordan fan. Like, he's, he's a, probably, in my opinion, the GOAT. But did I need it? No, I didn't need it. So I ended up walking out with nothing, saved some money. It was nothing crazy expensive, but I saved some money. Um... But let's get into the bag of goodies. Let's try to do this with one hand. All right, so first off, Sam wanted me to pick up. Well, I kind of wanted it too, but Sam, I, when I texted her a picture of this, because I didn't know this was coming out, she was like, oh my God, is that, like, what is that? And it's Rogue with Megan Fox. Um, it doesn't look the greatest. Let's be honest, but I think it's going to be pretty cool to see her outside of, like, blockbusters. I haven't seen her in a long time in anything. I know she's been coming out with a few straight-to-Blu-ray movies in the past year. But, um, Rogue looks interesting, to say the least. Then I picked up Children, la, 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 Children of the Sea. And it's a G-Kids movie. It was $15. I've heard the artwork on this is excellent. And um, I was definitely wanting to check this out. You know, if you've been watching the videos, I'm big into the G-Kids animation, Studio Ghibli, like that stuff. So I had to pick that up. Um, we'll get into these two. Um, yeah, this one first. Sherlock Holmes on 4K. I really enjoyed this movie when I saw it back in the day. I haven't seen it in a long time, but it came to 4K today, as well as its sequel, Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows. Um, I don't remember seeing the second one, but you, I'm a completionist, so I had to have them both. Uh, the slipcovers are really nice. Definitely love the first one. It was really fun back in the day. I got to check out the second one. Had to pick up the 4K um, releases of those. And then this one, I don't know why I picked up, to be honest. Um, I think it's kind of just me missing movies. Like, we haven't really gotten a lot of releases from 2020. And that's the Irresistible. Irresistible with Steve Carell. I'm a big fan of Steve Car Carell, but um, this looks pretty bad. It's pretty much trying to make money off, like the politics in the world today 
where the guy who says all the wrong things gets traction, gets um, a lot of love, and going against the one that is like probably the more stereotypical politician. But I think it has to do with the media, like the media consultants or whatever, and not the um, actual like politics themselves. I'm not sure. I've heard mixed things. I know people were really shitting on the poster, what this is the poster. I can agree this post poster is just so bland and atrocious. But um interested to check it out. It looks kind of throwaway, but like I said, I need more 2020 in my life. Well, more 2020 movies. No more 2020. 2020's been a shit show. But um, lastly, what I don't really like this steelbook, but I picked up the Goonies 4K steelbook. And the only reason I picked up the steelbook is I cannot find the slipcover edition anywhere. I don't know if it was delayed or what happened. So if you know, let me know down below. But it disappeared. And I really wanted, I just wanted the slipcover edition and I can't find it. So we got the kind of bland steelbook in my opinion. Um, I've never seen the Goonies. I know it's pretty bad that I haven't seen the Goonies. Um, but I am definitely going to check that out soon because I've heard nothing but great things. But I did hear from some people that you have to see it when you're younger because like, you get nostalgia watching it. Watching it new when you're like older, you're kind of not going to love it as much as everyone else. So, interesting to see that. I'm not going to shit on the movie if I don't like it because I do feel like it's probably a very nostalgic movie that you have fond thoughts of watching it when you get older. More so than it's a great movie in itself. But uh, I know it's a great children's cast. Uh, I think... Um, I forgot his name. I'm blanking. Stand by me. Uh, Corey Feldman is in this, as well as a few others. Uh, I think Josh Brolin's also in this, if I'm not mistaken. So, looking forward to checking that out. I have a few packages coming in, so those will be what you see next. And then after that, I guess that's the end of the video. So, hope you guys enjoyed my pickups. Um, oh, almost forgot Megan Fox. My pickups, I got a bunch. September's going to be a big month. You can already tell. I saw the Blu-ray.com month for releases and it looks like it's going to be jam-packed but i'm kind of happy with it uh my while it's not but me i'm happy see you guys when i get home so back at home like i said earlier see you guys at home and i would have a few packages and you just saw definitely have a few packages we got two from amazon one from ebay the i think there's three things coming from amazon if i'm not mistaken but we'll get into the ebay package first um pre-opened all of these because you know i don't have two hands i don't feel like setting up the tripod uh we got first off we got the hunt with um, Mads Mikkelsen, and this movie sounded so interesting to me. It's about someone who's accused of, I, I believe, either rape or um, child like molestation, but it's a false allegation. And we, the people that watching, know that from the beginning, from what I was told. And it's a Lars von Trier film, and he directed Antichrist, what I watched recently, and it was really interesting to say the least but it was very good it was just a little out there if you've seen it you know what i mean um but arrow academy edition of that now we got our first amazon package that would be yes beetlejuice um the i guess it's like a collector's edition of beetlejuice but it's a 4k Really wanted to go with this edition because I um, love the movie and I felt like it really was a nice set. Uh, the Goonies came out with the set as well, but I passed up on that one. It just looked a little cheaper than this one does, and this has some weight to it. It's pretty sturdy. Um, also, I haven't seen Goonies, so buying a collector's set just felt a little unnecessary. 
Uh, maybe I'll open that up and show you what's inside after I go through this next package. Now this one's a big ass package. And I know one thing in it because it's extremely heavy. And it's not something like collectors or anything, but I'll show it anyways. But the one thing I got movie related through this package is pitch black on 4K. Little disappointed there's no slip on this, I have to be honest. Arrow has one of the nicest slip covers, like out of all of the slips, in my opinion. And pitch black would have been nice with the slip. I know the Blu ray came with the slip, so this is really disappointing. At the end of the day, the movie still plays. It will still work without the slip, but it would have been nice. And then we got this big box, and it's pretty heavy. So we're going to try to open this with one hand so I can show you what's inside. It's a little ridiculous. I bought six boxes of Orville Redenbacher kettle corn. I was craving this the other night really bad. And um, I went on Amazon and I saw, I was like, oh, it's a decent price for six boxes of it. Even that it's a little ridiculous because each comes with six. So this is 36 packs of kettle corn, but I love kettle corn. So it's going to come in handy. Going to go through them. Sam actually was nice enough to go get kettle corn from the store the other night. Because I was like, damn, I really wish I can have some right now. And she got some. So now we have that box that she picked up and then these six so we'll be good for a while and i'm glad to have it I'll try to show you right there there's all the kettle corn but definitely happy now i don't have to ever buy it again for a long time at least uh i'm gonna flip the camera around show you guys the innards of beetlejuice the uh packaging and uh that will be it for today's vlog so hope you guys enjoyed okay so the camera's flipped around i got the plastic wrap off um took the j card off this is on the back really nice it really kind of looks like a book more so like one of those books that you would hide stuff on the shelf with but it's, it's really nice set from what i can see here and then you open it up and you got facts living people ignore the strange and unusual true Functional parameters vary from manifest. It's all from the movie. And then we got the instructions for the chalk. And I believe there's chalk in there. Um, that's what it looks like, at least. Uh, how do we get into the box, though? That's the question. Pull open. Aha. All right, so... I had to use both hands, but it's a magnet right here. And it is real chalk. I'm gonna leave that in the packaging. You get a patch, what I might put on my backpack. I have a backpack with a bunch of patches. You have, I'm trying to do this with one hand. This nice little printout. That's from the movie. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Can't say it three times. But uh, and then in here, what's disappointing, I, I get it's coming in a pack, but this should have a slip cover for the price tag it comes with. Uh, and that would be Beetlejuice on 4K. And that's really it. So, I mean, it's a little overpriced. I'm glad to have it. It's a nice set. And it's going to look really cool up on the uh, shelf on display. But I do feel like for the price it was at, maybe they could have included maybe like a pin, something else, just to sweeten the deal a little. But all in all, it's a really nice set. Um, I think if you're a big fan of the movie, pick it up. If you or so-so with the movie, go with the regular edition. I think it's worthwhile to get the 4K because I can only imagine how nice it looks because it's an awesome, colorful movie. Uh, but that's it. That's what we got today. And um, that's it. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed everything, all my pickups. Like the video, hit the bell subscribe comment down below 
all, all that good stuff. See you guys next time.